As for UTEP, the Miners are off this week, getting a much-needed buy after a 2-1 and start to the season. UTEP did suffer its first loss of 2021 last Friday in a blowout loss at Boise State. And the buy couldn't come at a better time for a banged-up UTEP roster. A myriad of Miners not practicing today. Center Andrew Mayer and safety Justin Prince both had walking boots on. Running back Deion Hankins also not practicing. UTEP hopes to get him back in time for the New Mexico game on September 25th. Cornerback Josh Caldwell and running back Quadres Wadley were practicing after not playing. Versus Boise State. Now, Dana Dimmel has said none of these injuries are very serious, and with the week off, no need to worry about them too much just yet. But the Miners will need all of these players healthy in order to accomplish their goals this year. One of those goals, going to a bowl game. Here's a look at UTEP's next five games after the bye. Three of the next four are at the Sun Bowl starting September 25th versus New Mexico, which could be the biggest game of the Dana Dimmel era. Win that, they'd be 3-1 and one entering conference play with Old Dominion coming to town. The Monarchs didn't play at all last year. After that, a road trip to Southern Miss, then back home to host Louisiana Tech October 16th, another bye, and then at Florida Atlantic October 30th. So all told, I see a potential for a 5-1 and one UTEP start if they play their cards right, but they'll have to play a lot better than they did versus Boise State last Friday. Time will tell if they can.